Yeman. Yeah, Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you coconut milk. I'm gonna show you how high juice coconut. So you're gonna need a coconut or shell coconut, a strainer, a bowl, water, and an hammer to break the coconut. To break a coconut, hit it on a concrete wall, a stone wall. This coconut weighs one pound and a half. To break a coconut, you need to hit it hard. Get some newspaper and spread around because we're going to need it so that we can keep all the trash in one place. Get an hammer. Use a hammer and hit the coconut hard. Hold the coconut in your left hand and the hammer in your right hand and hit it. If you're skilled, you can tap it right around the coconut and it will shell easily. But if you're not, just hit it until it cracks. Hit the coconut until it cracks. Once you see that first crack, get a knife like this and poke it or juke the crack. Put it in the crack and kind of prise it apart, removing the coconut water. Then hold it over a, a cup and remove coconut water. Taste the coconut water. If it's sour, chances are the coconut's not good. But if it's sweet, you can drink it. And if it's sour, do not drink it. So do what I'm doing. Hit the coconut hard with an hammer. Break the coconut in pieces. You want to get them in small enough pieces, but not too fine. You just want little you just want pieces. You want big pieces as big as your palm. Get a rag, a kitchen towel. Get a small little kitchen rag like this. Fold it and put it in the palm of your hand. You want to get a knife with a flat surface that's not sharp. It should be dull. The safer the better. You can use a sharp one. Try avoid using a sharp knife. If you can get it at Dulce, I, some several months back I juke myself with a, and got a, about a, a quarter inch juke in the middle of my palm. It got well. It got well in about two months, but just be careful. So do what I'm doing. Go to the edge between the coconut jelly the coconut jelly and the shell. And put a knife between the coconut's jelly and the shell and kind of slowly remove the gel from the coconut shell. Be careful, be mindful of the shell because the shell can, if you slip, the shell can also cut you. The shell will cut you as well. So continue. Get between the coconut shell and the jelly and remove the coconut's jelly. That white part is called a jelly. It's just a hard, hard jelly. So hold a knife in your right hand, put a folded thick kitchen cloth in your left hand and then put the broken piece of coconut on the cloth, use a knife and get between the coconut's jelly and the coconut shell and slowly and carefully remove the gel from the coconut shell. Be mindful of the coconut shell. If you slip, it can cut the side of your finger as well. By using the kitchen's cloth, or rag, it, it kind of blocks the knife from hitting your, hitting your hand 
if you slipped. If the coconut, if you shell it and you still have half of the shell on it, go on the other side and take it from the corner. Don't try to take it from the middle, if you understand what I'm saying. Like if you try to shell it and piece of the coconut shell broke off, but you still have the jelly on, the other, on another piece of coconut shell, don't try to take it from the middle. Just go to the other edge and take it from there. So this is the idea and this is what you want. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the method. I was going to throw this paper away, but we're going to need it. Next, rinse coconut clean. Do what I'm doing. Add some water in a bowl and rinse the coconut clean. It's best if you do this part on the fresh running water. Now, after rinse, we're going to dice the coconut. So do what I'm doing and cut the coconut. Use the piece that we just shelled and cut little strips. Strips as long as your finger. Pull them together and then dice the coconut fine. The reason why we do this is not recommend that you put the coconut in the blender old and big pieces like these. It's best if you dice the coconut, that way your, um, your blender won't be damaged. Because if you put a big piece in it, it will stuck between the blades and then the blade will stop and strain the motor in the blender. So do what I'm doing and dice coconut. It's as small, these little dice is as small as a peanut or an almond or a nickel. Just to say, so I won't forget, we are doing coconut milk today. This is not coconut cream. To do coconut cream, you would have to, like, um, they'll press. The manufacturers that have the machine to do it will press the coconut and squeeze the juice out, squeeze the milk or the cream, squeeze the cream out of the coconut without adding water. Then it's coconut cream. But it, once you add water, it becomes a milk. So it's coconut milk. These manufacturers, they have a machine that they can juice the coconut. They probably break it up or cut, dice it like this and then juice it. All right, another way to juice the coconut is to get a grater like this. Get the finest, finest part and grate the coconut to trash or pulp. And then you add water to that and then squeeze it like how you're going to see me do in a few while.
All right, so that's the idea. This is what you want. Diced coconut jelly. It's hard coconut jelly. A coconut is a nut, you know. So what you're looking at is one big nut. And if you think the flavor is similar to a nut, if you pay attention, the flavor of it is the same as a nut. All right, so get your blender. Make sure that the bottom is screwed on properly on the glass or on the, the blender's cup or jar. The blender's jar. Make sure it's the, the screw is screwed on properly. Add one cup of water for now. But we're going to use about two and a quarter cup water. Put the blender. Add the water first. Add the lid. Take off the little part on the top. And then turn on the blender on medium high. Then add the diced coconut to the blending water in the jar. First, I added one cup of water. Now I'm adding one more cup. So it's two cups of water in all. We added so far. You should watch it. If the blender is blending, like you need to add a little bit more water, like it's, it's stopping and choking and stopping and choking, just add a little bit more water. Cover that little hole. Because if you don't, it's gonna not blend properly. So make sure you cover the little hole, turn the blender on high, and just allow it to blend for a good three minutes. Allow it to blend, keep it blending. Why are you blending it so long? Because you want it to shred properly. Three minutes now. See, you want the trash to look fine, very fine. You don't want it to be thick. If it's thick, that means plenty more juices in, in the coconut jelly. So you got to grind it fine. So you can see, this is how fine you want it. Fine, green. You don't want it to be thick. Next, get a strainer. Fine, fine sieved strainer. Sift strainer. Hang it on a bowl, then pour the blended coconut jelly in the strainer. And strain out the coconut milk from the jelly. Oh yes, you can use, if you don't have a strainer, you can get a clean cloth with it like this and um, put it over the bowl and pin the edges and then you can use that instead. Alright, now, when you squeeze it, try and hold the palm of your hand down because if you don't, it's going to squirt or spray all over the place. So do what I'm doing, use your right hand, keep the left hand clean, grab your grinded coconut jelly and full and then squeeze the coconut milk from the shredded coconut jelly, removing the coconut's milk. So if you don't understand what I'm explaining, just do what I'm doing. The main objective is to squeeze out the coconut milk from the shredded coconut jelly. Keep one hand free and clean and use your right hand 
to squeeze the milk from the shredded coconut jelly. You gotta be you gotta put some strength in it and squeeze it as hard as you can. This alone measures two cups and a little bit. Some people will just stop right here and throw the coconut trash away, but I'm gonna show you how to squeeze out every little bit of milk from the shredded coconut jelly. Measure and add one more cup of water to the blender's jar. Um, Make sure you shake out the remaining shredded coconut jelly. Add the water to the bowl of squeezed coconut jelly that we just did. Now, do what I'm doing. Add that to the strainer and then strain out the remaining or strain out the excess coconut milk or strain out the remaining coconut milk from the shredded coconut jelly. Now you can throw this trash away. So that's why I say don't throw that paper away because we're going to use it. So do what I'm doing and give your shredded coconut jelly a final squeeze to remove the remaining coconut milk. Yes, try not to get any of the shredded coconut jelly into the coconut milk. Alright, so that's the idea. You're finished. Alright, so now you can just fold this up and throw it out. This is coconut milk. So we got about three cups of coconut milk from this small coconut. What I like to do, if I'm not gonna use the coconut milk right away, and I have to store it, I get a clean bag. You can use a Ziploc and um, I like to double these little bags because just in case it might burst. So what I do is just get these bags, it's an 8x12 clear clean plastic bag. I just pour the squeezed coconut milk in it. Tie it and then put it in the freezer for as long as ever. Once it's kept frozen, it's good forever. At least two years. This is coconut milk. You should try squeezing coconut, not yourself. Tell us your experience and share with us what it was like. Give us your experience. One time I went to the countries and got a lot of coconut, about a dozen coconuts. Because I didn't want it to spoil on me, I removed the jelly from every one of the coconut and keep them in pieces like big large pieces like this. And bag them in certain proportion and then freeze it. And it won't spoil easily. 
See, this is a deep freeze. So I just see them. That's the coconuts that I got. And I use them. I have these about three, four months now. This is a tip for Jamaicans. You don't have to squeeze the coconut and then freeze it. You can then remove the jelly from the shell and then freeze the jelly itself. And then when you're ready to use it now, you defrost the jelly. Just take it out and allow it to stay in the room temperature for about two, three hours. Let it get soft and then you blend it. And then you blend it. Yeah, man!